just like this. Air pressure is always pushing on us from all sides. About 15 pounds of pressure for every square inch. But at the same time, our bodies push back against the air pressure with equal force. So it balances out and we don't get crushed. I wish I could see all this. Well, think of it this way. Picture air molecules near the ground as being packed tightly together by the weight of the air above. This is why air is much denser at sea level. But higher up in the atmosphere, there's a lot less air pushing down from above, so the air molecules are not packed together so tightly. Normally, we don't feel any of this unless the pressure changes suddenly. You mean like when your ears pop in an airplane? Exactly. At much greater heights, there is less air weight pressing on you. Your body is reacting to the pressure change. Scientists use barometers and other tools to study the air pressure, to predict the weather, and to study climates. You can measure changes in air pressure, too. First, we can do an easy experiment to see how air expands as it gets warmer. Take a balloon, blow it up slightly, and attach to the top of an empty soda or water bottle. The larger, the better. Put the bottle in a freezer. Meanwhile, get a sink or tub of very warm water ready. After 10 minutes, take the bottle out of the freezer. Observe the size of the balloon. Quickly submerse most of the bottle under the very warm water. Hold it in the water for at least 30 seconds. Observe the size of the balloon now. This is because the air inside the balloon is warming up and expanding, just as warm air in the atmosphere expands, gets lighter, rises, and creates a low pressure area. Now let's make a real working barometer, which can measure the same effect in the atmosphere. To build a homemade barometer, You'll need a very large balloon, scissors, a large jar with a wide mouth, packing tape, a drinking straw, glue, some paper, a pen, a ruler, and a small poster board triangle. Cut off the balloon's neck and stretch it over the mouth of the jar. Seal the balloon to the jar with tape and make sure there are no leaks. Insert the small triangle into one end of the straw. Glue or tape the other end of the straw to the center of the balloon lid. This will be your homemade barometer. Put a piece of paper on the wall next to your barometer's pointer. Make a note of where the pointer falls. This is how you can measure the changes in air pressure. Check the position of the pointer every few hours, each time writing down the measurement. If the pointer moves down, it's because there is less atmospheric pressure pushing down on your balloon barometer. And if the pointer moves up, it's because there is now more atmospheric pressure pushing down on the balloon. Knowing how to accurately measure the atmospheric pressure is critical to weather forecasters. When the air pressure is low, it generally means bad weather with storms and precipitation. When the pressure is high, it usually means good weather with clear skies. You know, Malcolm, if our Earth was the size of an egg, then our atmosphere would only be about as thick as an eggshell. Don't start with food analogies. I'm getting hungry again. My point is that our atmosphere, as thin as it is, can still be broken down into four main layers. Examples.